You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back to Black Tree on TV. I'm your host, Alex Hudgens, and we are your number one source for urban entertainment. Now, I hope you guys are having fun because I know I am. Speaking of fun, the new indie comedy, Dear White People, has people talking, but what's it all about? We caught up with the cast to find out at the Los Angeles Film Festival where the movie made a big splash. This fall, in the tradition of The Help, The Blind Side, and The Butler, comes a new film. How come the only black movies Hollywood wants to make are ones with black mammies in fat suits? Yeah. Or black women in pain, man. So basically, we got black people dying in the past uh -huh. and black people dying in the present. We have a movie with, you know, characters in them instead of stereotypes wrapped in Christian dogma. Why is every educated person inherently evil? Man of the hour. I have to tell you that everybody, literally everyone that I've talked to has said, oh, Justin, we love working with him and he's so great. Congratulations. You know, what is it like being, bringing, this is your baby, bringing this to life, bringing it to the festival and to Sundance and all that. Just tell me about that experience. Oh, God. It's, it's you know, it's overwhelming, but it's fantastic. And I'm so grateful that my first film is being received at all, let alone with all of this. I mean, you know, being here with this carpet, I mean, it's, it's stupid it's nobody gets this their first film out and um, I'm just really grateful I mean that's how it's been it's been a lesson in gratitude and how awesome you know uh, how awesome things can sometimes turn out if you just work hard and and keep the keep the faith alive now you didn't start you were a publicist if I'm correct and then you just said okay I'm gonna write and direct this insane film what made you say I'm going for this I'm taking this risk because it's a it's a risky movie you yeah know? I mean you know I've always wanted to be a filmmaker that's always been that's always Always been the end goal but I think uh, it just got to a point where I couldn't sort of not do this movie you know I, it had been ruminating I've been working on it for some years and I, I just got to that point like I can't just sit on this anymore and actually Lena uh, who's running around here one of our producers you know we were both working on different things at the Paramount lot and she she and I had this lunch and she's like hey whatever happened to it was called two percent of the time whatever happened to that script man you got to do it and I was like yeah I got to do it what do you want audiences to take away from this film what's the most important thing that Dear White People has to say. I just like when people want to talk after films, right? Or I like when people don't want to speak. The movies that move me the most, I either had so much to say or I literally couldn't speak after. So if people are, either of those extremes are somewhere in between, I'm happy. I just like movies that stay with you, that open up conversations, that make you laugh, or at the very least make you think about things in a new way. And I think that that's what this film does. I've seen it with enough audiences now and people want to stay in chat. So if it continues to create a conversation and, and be more than a movie, movie but just a little bit of a movement then I'm happy. You just said this is your first feature and I've heard that a lot from everybody that I've talked to. What has it been like working with this young up-and-coming talent, up-and-coming director? It's all fresh, everybody. Everything, everything's been fresh and I mean everything's been that first time experience for me on, on some level and working with Justin has been fantastic and was so much fun and I think I, for everyone this was like a very serious passion project and everyone it is a strong sense of camaraderie and so it's like very fun to like see all my friends that I haven't seen in a while now. Yeah. What do you want audiences to take away? What's the most important message of the film? Uh, I hope that audiences take away uh, I guess the, I call it the mirror effect. Basically when you watch a movie and you can actually see yourself you know reflected in that and whether you go on and you can you can think of how you interact in the world in terms of your your family, your career, your life, all aspects in which it's, it's kind of happened that way. Um, um, and also that's a universal story. It's not just a black film. It's not a you know white film. Nothing's wrong with that. Uh, but this story is more than that. It's universal. It's human. It's a human story. And it's been cool to see uh, the reception that we've gotten from different audiences and how they come uh, and tell us whether you know they're, it's a 16-year-old. Uh, I don't know what's the PC Latina, okay, uh, or a 50-year-old Jew. That was super interesting. I am quite curious about that one. I think it looks pretty good and we all gotta go check it out and support. All right, up next, we have an exclusive first look at Step Up All In. It's coming up in just a bit on Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. 